education. So, doctor, this is grooming, right? Brainwashing toddlers with racist drivel. Cameras in the classroom as we put them on the chest of police officers. But I don't think these teachers are even smart enough to be in the classroom. Teachers hate teaching and they hate their students. They legit hate your kids. They're lazy. They're incompetent. Sluggish cat ladies in sweats stained with chocolate eclairs. The KKK with summers off. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojet here. And panic around teachers being compassionate to all students continues with the narrative that the right had happily co-signed on to. They're teaching our children to sext. They took God out of our school, Sandra. To view pornography. And then they, the left replaced it with C CRT, which is this neo-narxist, Marxist religion. What they are doing is grooming our children for sexual predators. This is a new world order. Everything they do is anti-kid, anti-parent. Why don't you go in there and thrash the teacher? And you're going to get hurt. And I think that should be the rule still. You get beaten up, you should be beaten up. Please. If I had to guess, I bet the oranges of this panic is based somewhere on Facebook or someone hearing something about a school somewhere and just running with it. Here's what this really is. The bigotry and hatred for the LGBTQ plus community is so prevalent that these parents getting their ideas from Fox are truly terrified that someone can teach or turn their kid into being gay. That's all this is. It's plain ignorance. They are so afraid that their kid may turn out gay or trans that they will actively combat learning anything about the existence of those people. But that's the thing. There are gay and trans people in this world. And just closing your eyes and plugging up your ears doesn't make them go away. What are your biggest concerns about raising children in America right now? John? The whole woke culture affecting our children. All these elementary schools and middle schools having woke culture pushed on them from the LGBT plus community for sexual identity and, and, and gender. What would you have your kid do? Really? You just going to teach them they don't exist and then when they get in middle school or high school you're going to turn the hate switch and tell them to be cruel to those people? Well, that makes you a bully and a dumb parent. And this is all hypothetical, which unfortunately the bullying and the harassment towards both students and teachers is happening every day. All because ghouls on Fox News are telling parents that teachers are somehow going to negatively influence their students. So parents already have to deal with high crime and inflation, and now they have to worry about demonic teachers turning their classroom into a drag show? You'd think Biden, who's almost 80, would know better. But he doesn't. Maybe that's why they call him Creepy Joe. The president, who's already in over his head, wasted his day chatting with a transsexual activist, Dylan, in the Oval Office about why children should be getting sex changes without their parents' permission. Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and love it. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that as a moral question and as a legal question. I just think it's wrong. Biden spent more time talking with Dylan than he spent at the border. Here's the thing. There are some people that don't believe dinosaurs are real and that the devil put them in the dirt to trick people into not believing in God. Does that mean that your city school system should just skim over that part in natural history? That when they go to the museum, your kid can't go? Or worse, they go and ask what the giant lizard is? The blanket term of parental rights is being slapped on stories like this and the panic over CRT, but there is no infringing on your right to remove a child from a school or homeschooling them. But that would be time away from your schedule, and you don't like that. So you get mad at the teacher and the curriculum, to the point that you would rather educators gloss over anything that makes you uncomfortable, so your kid just gets the watered-down, right-wing, skim-milk style version of education, so your feelings are spared exposing our eighth grade math yeah, teacher I mean. look at this free supplies they're gonna think that the world's gonna be handed to them <laughs> black and brown markers my god what are they teaching here <gasps> critical race theory and you guys call the left snowflakes i'm seeing a lot of meltdowns on the right though Here's a fun prompt for questions, guys. What do you think the next thing is going to be? The boogeyman for the right wing? Comment below. We already have some praise for anti-Semitic comments that Kanye West has made. But the Fox News troglodytes always have their hands ready to point in any direction but towards themselves. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.